Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make this base. I used it in uh, my track Uprising recently, and despite what some people thought, it's made in armor. So, yeah. It's all based off of uh, a preset, which some may argue is lazy, but it works. And it works really good. Oh, sorry. The preset was a uh, ugly cyborg under base. For some reason, uh, I think the older versions of Harmer didn't have this preset. But if you don't have it, then uh, too bad. Because uh, it's not just the patch itself. It's about the uh, the sample within it in the image section thing. Um, start it out. Sounds like that. It's a pretty nice sound. Kind of like a Reese. But for this sound, we're going to turn this all the way to square. And over here, turn off delay because you don't want that in a base. Uh, and then reverb turned down to like 15 maybe. Maybe 20, 25. Compression burning. We want that compressed and hard and stuff. Already sounding pretty fat. Then uh, distortion log. Amount up a little bit and the filter up, that is important. Because it has that kind of effect. Symmetry like uh, 10%. I just like to go down with it. Oh, actually, it goes mono when you turn up. Never knew that. Learning things while making a tutorial. Isn't that ironic? Then on the image, uh, it's pretty important to start it around here, around uh, six percent apparently. Then uh, on the form and uh, part of this, turn the mix all the way up and the form and all the way down. Uh, another thing that's really important is. Uh, the unison pitch. Uh, just do that, that, and that. So basically, a little bit more unison on the low end. I don't know why this works, but it just makes it maybe thinner. I don't know. Like for example, in this, if I turn this off, if I had it like that. Yeah, that sounds awful. Just too fat. That's in a bad way. I know it doesn't sound bad, but it is. And then to make it to make it have that kind of cool pretty, cool pretty, cool pretty-ish vibe uh, to pitch. Oh, what I did there was uh. And the filter one frequency, and the filter one is a phaser. That's uh, you could do that with this phaser by uh, pulling the speed all the way down, which I learned from Seamless just recently. But I've been using the phaser for a while on the filter, and it works just like that. Actually, I think it works better for some reason. Maybe. And then you just gotta kind of jiggle this around. Maybe turn the width a bit up. Around uh, 47, I think, was the exact number. And here, around maybe 60 something. And now, just to give it that kind of kick, the pitch. And I like to uh, turn on the tempo based time, just because. And these are octaves, basically. Uh, the 
the lines you can actually see here. So that's, I, I do two octaves because that seems to work. Oh, one thing I forgot, ah, uh, Hertz for unison. And you could have some chorus for no reason. Maybe this. Then you can just kind of mess around with the image to get different results. And yeah, that's pretty much the sound. Just mess around with it. It actually ended up kind of different, but interesting. Thanks for watching.